A pediatric critical care fellowship at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital provides a trainee with access to expert clinical faculty in the field, an innovative academic structure, and the resources of Johns Hopkins Medicine. We draw patients from around the globe and feature a learner-centric environment that encourages excellence in both clinical skill and scholarship. I liked the idea of taking care of the sickest children and being able to restore physiological norms. Giving a really sick child back to their parents is the most rewarding experience I've ever had. I was intrigued by the pediatric critical care medicine program. Understanding it was a new program, I knew that they would be able to provide me a really good education, but I also really liked the idea of being able to help shape what my education would look like and understanding they would be receptive to feedback because they just wanted to produce well-trained physicians. Founded in 1926, Johns Hopkins All Children's is a 259-bed teaching hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. In 2011, we became the first hospital outside the Baltimore, Washington region to join the Johns Hopkins Health System. In 2018, we opened a dedicated research and education building on the main campus, which is home to our grant-funded scientist and biorepository, the Center for Medical Simulation and Innovative Education, and the Office of Medical Education, which includes a lounge and collaborative classroom spaces for trainees. World-renowned neurosurgeon George Jallo is our vice dean and physician-in-chief and leads the Institute for Brain Protection Sciences. We have a unique educational program here at Johns Hopkins All Children's. Our trainees, aside from doing their clinical uh, responsibilities, have the opportunity to learn about clinical research as well as basic science research. There's an emphasis on the whole person and their opportunity to learn rather than just providing basic care to the children. When I talk to my friends about this fellowship, it's usually me bragging on my attendings or my program director or an amazing case I got to see taking care of a really sick kid. I need a pressure less than 32 in order to sure. not have a leak. Okay. So I'll change my volumes and things. Johns Hopkins All Children's is modernizing graduate medical education with the idea of training the next generation of pediatric specialists. Dr. Ashley Seams is director of the Critical Care Fellowship Program. As a newer program, we have the latitude to be able to think outside of the box, to be innovative, and to say, we've trained physicians in a certain way for decades to centuries, and why not try things a little bit differently? Why not try to train the next generation of physicians using up-to-date practices from the education field as well. And I think what sets us apart is that we really do try to be a state-of-the-art training program. And we're not preparing you just to be an ICU physician. We're training you for your next career. So if you want to be an education specialist, then we have a track for that. If you want to be a quality improvement specialist, we have a track for that. If you want to be a grant-funded researcher, we have a track for that. And we also have the flexibility to accommodate whatever that dream is. So your typical day in the PICU starts at 7 a.m. The fellows get there. They do a quick walkthrough of the unit. Um, the fellow overnight will hand off to the oncoming fellows for the day. You kind of get to see the patients from the day before. What has changed? Has anyone gotten intubated? Has anyone improved? Um, and then we all get together, and I think this is really special, at 7.30, um, the attendings and the fellows sign out together so that we're all in the room together or in pandemic times remotely together um, and we hand off officially what happened last night, what's the plan for the day. We do radiology rounds at nine and start rounding right after. Um, during rounds it, it it's family centered and multidisciplinary so we we'll definitely allow parents to be present so they can hear what, what's going on, ask questions and we will stop and explain it to them in a way they understand. Once rounds are done the fellows are really responsible for all of the 
the elements on the unit, putting out fires, responding to kids who are deteriorating, putting in lines and, um, and procedures that as need be. And then throughout all of this, they're also getting education, right? We are really dynamic on rounds, we educate on rounds, but then out after rounds, there's really great learning experiences, on the fly bedside learning, going to ventilators, learning about that. You're circling back constantly, making sure to check in with your nurses, your, your families, your patients, seeing if they need anything from you. The day typically ends around like five-ish. That's when we do our sign out and um, pass it on to the night team. The critical care team has been at the forefront of care in the COVID-19 pandemic, which has forced innovation in both teaching methods and the care of patients and families. COVID-19 brought the world to its knees, but in pediatric critical care medicine, it just allowed us to take care of the sickest of the sick patients that were previously healthy before, which was very different from experiences that anyone has ever had. It did decrease the number of bread and butter pediatric critical care medicine cases we'd see. However, it changed the game and it just reassured me that I made the right decision to go into a field that was not necessarily affected by COVID-19 because we were still taking care of very sick children. I think the pandemic has been hard for everyone, but specifically emergency room physicians and critical care physicians. If you think of the emergency room as the first line of defense, the ICU has become the last line of defense. And we've taken on all of the COVID positive patients who have needed hospitalization. And during a time where visitation is limited, you have to learn how to balance the needs of the medical needs of patients, as well as the emotional needs of patients. Um, and if the rest of the world is stressed, it's been a hundred times more stressful in the ICU having to strike that balance. Our graduate medical education programs are strengthened by the addition of individuals with diverse backgrounds, life experiences, and talents united by a commitment to excellence and patient care. In critical care, you have this overwhelming responsibility to not only your patient but their family because you are tr being trusted with the most precious thing in their life at a time where they feel helpless. A parent's job is to protect their child by any means possible and now they can't necessarily do that and they have to depend on people they don't know to do everything for them. Critical care medicine is a team sport. So you really need to have shared mental models. You need all of your team to be on the same page. We're looking for good people who wanna do good things and aspire to do good things within critical care. And so that's the intangible that's hard to see in a CV. Pediatric Critical Care Medicine Fellowship is difficult. It's supposed to be difficult. Your training how to take care of really sick children and that shouldn't be easy by any means, but it doesn't have to not be enjoyable. So having a strong support team in your fellowship, as well as all of the other colleagues that you'll be working with, having a great APP team, having great nursing, those are the things that are gonna make the worst days tolerable. If you want a challenging but collegial experience that offers strong interaction with faculty, applying for a Johns Hopkins All Children's Critical Care Fellowship is the right choice for you. If you are a person that is excited to be a part of shaping a new program, knowing that you're gonna get really good educational experience, really good mentorship, then come join us. We want you here.